Parents for their children, a blessing or a punishment? It is very important to remember that it is the height of folly to get rid of and tear out pieces of your own past. Because your experience is the most valuable thing you have. The only question is how you use it. In theory, every unpleasant story should train our subconscious to digest the negative energy, not to shut down, not to shrink into a shell. On the contrary, we should learn to absorb the negativity, to get over it, and if the energy turns out to be inappropriate, to develop immunity to that energy in the future and move on. But why is our subconscious unable to do this? Because it's not allowed to. At a time when your parents should have allowed you to have a variety of experiences. They restricted your experiences out of fear for you and, of course, out of fear for themselves. Simply because one of their biggest worries was how the neighbors would react if they found out that your parents let their children do a lot of things they wouldn't let their own children do. When a person grows up and becomes an adult man or woman, it does not mean that he is mature and wise. And sometimes our parents behaved like children even though they were adults. Unfortunately, there is no such thing as psychological adulthood in the culture we live in. Once upon a time there were civilizations and cultures where psychological adulthood, psychological maturity, was a prerequisite for society to allow a man and a woman to have children. But unfortunately that's not the case anymore. But perhaps it's a good thing that a child is born into this world, then immediately enters a program of natural selection, in which his own parents are the main irritants, however strange that may seem. And his future success in this life will depend on how well he can deal with this. So when you remember your childhood, when you cleanse your astral body, be careful not to blame your mothers and fathers. Believe me, they were no more psychologically mature than you. They were just put in conditions they couldn't handle. But the fact that you came to this particular man and woman, born into their family, is probably the very first step in the process of natural selection that you had to go through. It's supposed to be the environment where your consciousness becomes stronger. It doesn't matter that you couldn't cope with that environment back then. You can cope with it now. And the resulting effect will be much stronger if you have no resentment towards your parents. It's not constructive. Who is there to resent? They were exactly the same children, only you crawled on all fours and they walked on two, and that makes all the difference. So don't feel resentful towards your parents and don't try to put all the responsibility on them. Believe me, if you have to pass tests of your consciousness, you will pass them anyway, whether you are a child or an adult. And if you teach your subconscious to be omnivorous, your opportunities in this world will increase many times over. But as soon as you start passing the responsibility on to someone else, you take a step backwards. In other words, you shrink back into your shell, so bite your tongue every time you try to justify yourself at the expense of someone else. Especially your parents or the society you grew up in. After all, society is what it is, just take it as your breathing ground, where you had to learn something. The fact that you still haven't learned it is not your fault, it's your misfortune, but it's never too late to start. Remember, you can change everything while you are alive. And while you're alive, you still have many chances and opportunities, each better than the last. All right, my friends, are you feeling well? Okay then, see you tomorrow.